Hi friends, Knife Detector here, and guess what? Today it's gonna be all about the Gonzo Knife Mania, amigos. Yeah, I've been showing you Gonzo Knives for the past couple of weeks, and I'm gonna show you another one today, amigos. I am really loving Gonzo Knives, and here's some of the things I love about Gonzo Knives. One, they're priced perfectly reasonable for the average guy, in my opinion, right? which usually runs somewhere between 15 and 30 bucks. Um, the other thing is that they have incredible build quality. They're made with G10 handles, right? And the G10 is extremely reliable, as you know. Um, another thing I love about these is the blades are just beautiful. Uh, they have beautiful blades and beautiful shapes. Here we have this elliptical type of shape on this blade that's very reminiscent of the Canadian Groman knives, right? They're extremely durable. And they have some features that you're going to find on more expensive knives like Spyderco's and Benchmarks. Um, just gorgeous, gorgeous knives, right? So this very simple but effective belt loop that really gets the job done. And this is one that I showed you last time. I'm definitely going to keep this one, guys. This is the FH922PT in D2 steel fiber knife made by Gonzo with the swedge loving this knife right here right now i showed you another one i showed you this one right here and let's see which way did i open it? i think i opened it this way now one of these right here and i think it's going to be this one uh one of these knives is going to be a giveaway knife i think it's going to be this one yeah look at this one this one's a little smaller but it is beautiful it's got a lot of amenities a nice lanyard loop right here ample thumb hole opening right there for you to just open that bad boy look at that beautiful blade amigos it is just gorgeous i mean this knife is does not leave much to be desired black g uh g10 um it's just a beautiful knife and this model is the let's see what is this one let's get some help here it is the fh 924 nd2 steel and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous cleaver type blade. It's got a nice little swedge up there too, jimping right here. Just a gorgeous knife, guys. I think that one may be the giveaway knife right there. Um, because I, I like them all. I'm not gonna lie to you, I like them all. I'm gonna probably keep two, uh, but uh, I do like them all. But uh, let's see what happens, amigos. Let's see what happens. Okay, now check this one out. I haven't shown you this one yet. So I'm going to show you this one. Uh, this one might also be the giveaway. I don't know. Uh, it's a really cool looking knife. This one kind of reminds me of the QSP Penguin. Um, look at this. It's got the green G10, kind of like the OD green. Uh, look at that. Jimping right up here. It's got uh, a nice green spacer to match. It's got a lanyard loop right there for you to use. So got a two screw belt loop right there. Very durable. And uh, this is the FH31B in D2 steel. Check it out. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous, kind of like a modified sheep foot. Uh, look at the lines on this thing. It looks like a stealth bomber. You have like lines this way, a grind this way. How thick it starts and it tapers down. Kind of sweeps up a little bit like a claw and if you pay attention to the blade it kind of like sweeps up a little bit here too which makes cutting a little bit easier right this looks a lot like the blade on the qsp penguin but it's got some more embellishments uh, really like this knife just the shape of it the ergonomics uh it's got some jimping check out the jimping the jimping is not on the blade the jimping is not on the g10 the jimping is actually on the liner See how they did that? The jimping is actually on the liner. That means your thumb gets to go in through here and gets to have a little bit of added uh, support there and on the side. So it kind of like retains it a little bit better because your thumb is actually in the groove. See that? Yeah, not bad. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. This thing feels so good in the hand. It's got that groove right in there. I mean, Gonzo really, really knows their stuff, amigos. Really knows their stuff. So what do you think? You know, honestly, I'm definitely going to use one of these for my next giveaway. Uh, my next giveaway is probably going to be, uh, let's see, 
Well, I do it every 500 subscribers. By the way, thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, I'm at around 3,000, close to 3,900. So I'm uh, about 100 subscribers away. I'm averaging a little less than 100 subscribers per month. So that means that probably another, mo another month or so, I will be having another giveaway. And since I got really bothered by a whole bunch of uh, trolls that tried to mess up my giveaways and mess with my viewers and started uh, pretending to be me, going to the extent of even, you know, uh, making uh, an emblem that looks like the one Gary made for me and just copying it and using it and pretending to be my channel. Um, I'm very secretive now, so I don't advertise on my channel titles that I'm going to do a giveaway. So when I do a giveaway, it usually does come as a surprise. I usually let my viewers know during the video that it's a giveaway or not. I will never solicit money from any of my viewers. So if that happens, it is not Knife Detector. It is not me. So that is not me, guys. Please don't fall for that. He actually uh, approached a couple of my viewers individually and asked for money, if you can believe that. I, I wouldn't do that. If you win this thing, you win this thing. Um, when or if you win, uh, make sure that what you win is acceptable uh, in the place where you live. Sometimes I get people that win in another country and I'll send it to you. However, um, in that case, you know, make sure it's something that you're allowed to have. Uh, and I'm going to see if I can ship it. And if I can ship it, I will send it to you. But but if you're not allowed to have it, they will confiscate it to you. I know one of my viewers had issues in Canada as well. So make sure you're allowed to have it. And if you're not allowed to have something like this, well, maybe I have something else that you're allowed to have that's a different style of knife, something a little more traditional. All right, friends. So this has been another edition of the Knife Detector channel. Uh, please check out my other videos, you know, and when you check out my other videos, tell your friends about my channel. You know, I have giveaways. I do videos on modern and traditional knives. Tell your friends about my channel. And you know what? If you have a commercial that pops up or something like that, just watch the commercial. Come on, let it run. It's pennies for me, but it helps keep my channel going, amigos. All right. And don't forget to check out those websites that I'm going to put at the bottom of the description because I tell you what, the good people of Gonzo really know their stuff and they give you a lot of value for that money, amigos. So check it out. I'm going to put in there gonzoknife.com. I'm going to put in there also uh, an Amazon website where you can purchase these bad boys. All right, guys, take care. God bless and happy detecting.